it's really hard for me to explain how important men were in developing the birthing better skills because you see birth from the outside. So you see things that women miss from being involved in the experience. And one has to do with the five phases and the progression of labor, the bell-shaped curve. So when labor starts, the contractions are a little bit vague, usually. They start, women kind of sort of know, and then they go away, women kind of sort of know that. Then they get more defined. So you, from the outside, are seeing she's not having contraction. She is having a contraction. You can often see the uterus tighten up. She, you can see it tighten up and you think, oh, is that painful? And some women don't feel very much, or they don't feel pain, or it's not particularly painful, because it's not the tightening up of the uterus that causes the pain. It is the uterus tugging open this tight cervix to that. And you've gone through this about your penis. That hole has to open up like that, and it hurt. So you need to understand that what men saw and what they heard was the ability for us to break down contractions into five phases. And women hadn't done that over time. So we used to do it this way. The contractions aren't painful. They're a little bit more painful. The contractions are painful. They're much more painful. They're terribly painful. I feel out of control. So we treat the word contraction as though it's a thing and we have no control over it. However, once fathers started to see that the contraction started, it went up in intensity, it peaked, it came down, it went away, then men could say, but there are five phases. So then we could, in Birthing Better, begin to apply our skills to one or more of those phases. And that helped us tremendously because maybe we'd lose it during the peak, that 10, 15 seconds of very intense contractions. But with your help, we could get it back as the contractions started to go away and disappear. We could work through these five phases. And what helps you understand them in these five phases about the progression of labor, and we've talked about this in positions, is if the contractions start, they start to go up, they peak, come down, go away, that's like a bell-shaped curve. It doesn't have to be exactly a bell-shaped curve. Some women, the contraction starts, goes up really, really fast, then goes away. Others, it starts, kind of goes up slowly, peaks, and then just sort of disappears. So it's a curve on that bell shape. But if the contraction starts, starts to go up, and then obviously plateaus, and you're going to hear it. You're going to see it. And the woman is going to feel it. She doesn't really understand what's happened. And then it goes away. That is not a progressive contraction. And that's where you have to tie this knowledge into positions. What did we say in positions? Babies don't like. Okay, they don't like. They don't like the, their space bent. Not every butt baby cares because it depends on how big the object is fitting inside this container. If the object fits in easily, a woman can be standing on her head. Doesn't matter, baby will come out. But if that baby has a relationship to that body that needs that body to keep the upper part of the body aligned to the pelvis, then if the woman bends too far forward, the contraction will go away. It will start to plateau. The other one was internal tension. You can't see internal tension. That's why doing the body skills help you feel it and to remind women how to soften. And you learned that in the breathing, the pelvic clock. And we're going to give you in an extra lesson the touch so that you can learn to cue women to soften inside. She has to do it. And she has to do it counterintuitively to the pain she feels and her desire to react to pain by tensing up. And the other position is, is whether the space is compressed. And that can be compressed by pressing on the sacrum of back labor, sitting on the sacrum when you're delivering. And positions that you saw in that video are important. So for instance, the natural birth movement considers hands and knees to be an upright position. Men took a look at that and they went, what's upright, her thighs? The rest of her should just lying on her belly. So hands and knees is not an upright position. 
and many babies, the contractions just go right off because the baby isn't in a gravity position able to come into the pelvis well and continue to move down just by the sheer weight of its size. So it's really important that you understand the five phases. This is so simple to learn, my God. Just wish you were everywhere. So, and you're gonna learn about the bell-shaped curve. Easy peasy. And then you're gonna be able to adjust and adapt these very sustainable skills as you're working through the labor contractions.